infographic is a visual representation of information, data, or knowledge intended to present information quickly and clearly. Infographics are useful for various reasons, including the following. They clarify and simplify complex topics, organize and plan information, allow us to see relationships, patterns, and trends, speed up comprehension, increase engagement, and improve retention and recall. Generally, infographics include these key components, an appropriate heading, a brief interpretation that highlights the main message, a visual representation of data in the form of graph or charts, an illustration representing the subject of the infographic, a key message or call to action, and a source of the data. The design and layout of an infographic is extremely important. A poorly designed infographic can do more harm than good. Here are some tips for designing an effective infographic. Firstly, structure. The text and images should always be aligned. The infographic should contain hierarchy. It should be read from top to bottom and left to right. Use elements to direct the eye. In this infographic, they have made use of arrows. Divide the content into sections to make the information more digestible. This once again also helps to direct the eye. The infographic should be made scannable. Readers should be able to skim through the infographic and get just enough information to decide if they want to read the infographic in depth. Headings should be bold and large. Use callouts for important facts and show the data clearly. Thirdly, keep the infographic uncluttered. Make use of white space, the empty areas between the text and images. Don't put too much information. Include only the important points. And show, don't tell. Use graphs and pictures instead of lots of writing. Fourth, color. Choose your colors carefully. Use color for clarity. In this case, color has been used to divide the different sections and to help certain data points stand out. Use three to five colors maximum. Too many colors will make the infographic look messy. Use a color scheme generator to find color combinations that work well together. Colors.co is a great website that has pre-made color combination templates. Just copy the hex codes of the colors that you want to use. Lastly, choose colors sensitive to your subject. For example, if you're talking about death and disease, don't use bright and bubbly colors. Fifth, choose fonts that are legible. Avoid fancy cursive writing or other fonts that are hard to read and ensure the font is big enough to read. Limit to three different types of fonts generally one for the heading and two for subheadings or the body of text. Next, we'll talk about visualizing data. The type of graph or chart that you choose is important because it can either help the reader see patterns and trends more clearly or confuse them even more. Firstly, pie charts. These are great for proportion or showing parts that add up to a whole. Avoid trying to compare different segments of a pie chart with each other. Rather use a bar chart instead. Use different colors for different slices and label the segment size as well. Secondly, bar charts. These are great for comparing the different variable sizes or bars with each other. Avoid too many bars or variables and use colors and labels. Avoid stacked bars if possible as they can be confusing and complex. Line graphs are great for showing change over time. Maps are useful for showing location and icon arrays are great for showing frequencies. Now that we have gone through the components and layout of an infographic, I'll now go through the step-by-step -step process of creating an infographic. Step one, conduct research on the topic that you want your infographic to be about. Make sure to only choose the most relevant information and use reputable sources and ensure your information is factual and correct. Step two, Plan your infographic by answering the following questions. Question one, what is the goal of your infographic? What is the purpose? Why are you doing it? What do you hope will come of it? Is it to inform, educate, raise awareness or encourage behavior change? Question two, who is your audience? What is relevant to them and what engages them? For example, if you are doing an infographic about obesity, the information that you share is going to be different if your audience are the obese population versus if the audience are doctors and clinicians. Question three, what is your story? What type of story are you trying to tell? Cause and effect, 
past and present, problem and solution, what would you briefly tell someone what your infographic will say? Question four, what is the message of your infographic? If your audience only had time to skim through the infographic, what is the relevant message that you want them to take away? Question five, what is the other content? Put down the additional information and data that will support the goal of your infographic. Question six, what are the supporting visuals? How can the data be visualized in the most informative way? And what illustrations will help make your message clear? Step three, sketch your infographic very roughly. Make sure to leave space for text, images, and graphs. You can find inspiration on Pinterest to help you sketch your infographic. Step four, create your infographic using one of the following websites, Canva, Tidbit, or Pictochart. Step five, share your infographic on social media, such as Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. Thank you so much for listening to this presentation on how to create an infographic.